Hey guys, it's Inca 4x4. Thank you so much for being in this one. Make sure to go to the website, IncaOverlandOutfitters.com in the description for all the overlanding gear that you need. We have the best prices and fast shipping. Um, this video is gonna cover Kayla and Kevin's Ford Bronco. They ordered a Free Spirit Recreation Odyssey 10, the 55 inch model, which fit perfect. And you could follow them at Ruthless underscore. And shout out to Opop at Overland1983 with a zero. Um, he helped us out. Uh, just to show you real quick, this is a Rick's camper or trailer that we're building for him. He's got everything from power to the Julka system. We made custom propane mounts. Um, he's got a fridge, all that stuff, um, rooftop tent. So I'm really pumped when we finish this, I'll make a separate video. So you're not gonna wanna miss that one. And then with the Defender, we're just doing some uh, maintenance. I had a, a crack in the heater matrix and um, it's not the radiator, but it's uh, something, it's called the heater matrix, but got the part in, so we're gonna fix that. Um, and then, yeah, um, hope you have a great Christmas and a happy new year. And I hope that uh, you guys have a good new 2024. If you need any help with any of the products you see here, make sure to go to our website. We have these really cool patches now too. Hey guys, we're here with uh, Lewis at Inca 4x4 and we have Kayla and Kevin. And uh, they, come, they came over here today to give us a little demonstration on their brand new Bronco. And they're gonna tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so this is a 2023 Bronco. It's a Badlands uh, with the Sasquatch package. I got it earlier this year, uh, I think in February. Cool. And what is the upgrades that you have done so far since the first day you got them? So we put some sliders on here um, from Goat Fabrication. It's got a trail racks, roof rack with the side pack racks here on the rear windows. Um, some diodynamics lights. I've got ditch lights, light bar, their pocket fog light kit. Um, what else do I have on here? The new form headlights, I uh, just got those last month. Those are one of my favorite things on here so far, honestly. Um, yeah, it's it's got a, um, a catch can, it's got a blow off valve, just some minor stuff. Um, nice. Didn't do too much this year, but I've got bigger plans for it for 2024 for sure. Nice, nice. I'm liking this color. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the color on your Bronco? It's some kind of gray. Yeah, so this is the Cactus Gray. Um, this is actually the first lighter color vehicle I've ever had. I've always had black or like a charcoal gray. Uh, so I was a little nervous to do this at first, thinking I wouldn't like it, but I'm, I'm obsessed with the color. It's my new personality. <laughs> it's definitely a beautiful color. Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about your tires and wheels? Yeah, so these are, this is uh, what comes on it with the Sasquatch package. They're 35 inch tires um, with the 17 inch weedlock capable wheels. I do have plans, as much as I love the look of these, um, I do have plans to upgrade this in 2024. I'll keep the 17s, but I think I'm gonna go uh, with a set of 37s, maybe 38s. I think I'm leaning towards Toyo. Um, I had them on my Jeep a couple of years ago and, and really liked them, so. I think that's the direction I'm moving in with this. Yeah, Toyo tires are a good choice. Uh, anybody's different. Everybody's different about their tires. Uh, yeah. I've been running Toyos for, this is my fourth set in okay. a row. And uh, I highly recommend them. But it's up to it's up to the, the people who yeah. wants to. Um, what else do you have any any upgrades that you have done in the interior? Like have Not you? Not a whole lot. Um, I've got. I do have like the foam mount rail on the inside with the sixty seven design foam and uh, walkie talkie mounts. Oh, nice! Uh, but it came with all the auxiliary switches already, so I didn't have to do those. And then I think we're gonna try to do. Um, a rear seat delete and like a platform set up for a road trip next year. Nice. So that's on our, our list to tackle for nice. 2024. I can see it's very roomy. Uh, yeah. I have friends that had Jeeps, but def definitely this one has more room than the Jeeps do. Uh, no roomy. offense to the Jeep people or the Jeep community, but uh, I really like your vehicle, the way you have it all set up uh, with your molly panels, the bracket and all of that. And uh, I like the way your your back wheel mounts on your tailgate. Yeah. Uh, and 
yeah, this is definitely a nice vehicle. I noticed you have a, a Inca 4x4 trash roof back. Yep. Um, yeah, this is definitely a nice uh, setup. All right, so I'll interrupt this video real quick. Um, thank you again for watching to this point. We have a little contest here and it's basically just leave a comment and I'll send you, um, I'll pick one person and I'll send you a Inca 4x4 patch, a Velcro patch, a 23-0 uh, Velcro patch and a 23-0 uh, sticker right there. And then make sure to check out our um, heavy duty Overland trail bags that we have on our website. These things are super beefy PVC material. They're the only ones that come with the three compartments. We designed that specifically to carry a Timbo Tusk fire pit, a uh, collapsible toilet in the back, and then you have your own trash section to carry any trash or storage like that. So this, these things are super cool. They're on sale right now for Christmas, $150 They're normally $180 go to the website and I'll let you get back to the video. Thank you. Uh, guys, if you have any questions about Kayla's and Kevin's vehicle, uh, you can follow them at Ridlet's uh, Instagram and you can follow uh, Inca 4x4. We're going to be dropping this video on their Inca 4x4 YouTube channel. And thank you, Kayla. Thank you, Kevin, for the introduction of your nice vehicle and uh let the adventures begin yes thank you guys yes. <laughs> hey guys we're here one more time with uh i'm here at lewis's house and uh I'm, we also have as a guest uh, kayla and kevin uh they came over today because they purchased uh one of the free spirit recreation 55 from lewis at inca 4x4 uh, to be mounted on their 2023 Ford Bronco Sasquatch. Um, they used to have a soft shell tent. Uh, I can't remember which brand it was, but going from a soft tent to a hard shell uh, is the best uh, change ever. So this tent is very roomy. It doesn't stick out from the size of the vehicle. As you can see, it's not, it's just perfect um is capable to fit two people up to three or if you have pets um it counts with uh, the light strip velcro to it you can attach a little port for usb connector and you can run your light while you're in it uh it had extended poles like you can see the little clips right here uh you can see the other connector in here so it's easy to set it up and down uh, it's very roomy, like I say, uh, very low profile. And uh, so other thing I want to highlight about this, I don't know if you can see it or not. I like the texture on this thing. The texture says it's crazy. Uh, it has three hinge on the back. Uh, you can also set this stand whichever way you want it. You want it to open on the driver's side, on the passenger side. Uh, depending on the length of your vehicle, you can slide it forward, you can go back, depending if you're having something to be mounted on the front or you want to have something mounted on the back. So you have options in here. Uh, we always recommend our customers to measure their vehicle before they order something. So that way everybody's on the same page. Uh, this tent also comes with uh, four latching points. Uh, these latching points, I like them because here you can do the adjustment if you want it close a little tighter, a little loose. Uh, it comes with a little storage bag for your shoes, whatever you have in there, maybe wet towels after a rainy day, you clean your shoes, your boots or your feet. You can throw them in here on both sides. Uh, it has also have compartments on the inside. Uh, you can put stuff in there like extra clothing in the middle of the night. Uh, you can electrical stuff. Uh, it comes with a beefy mattress. Uh, this mattress is crazy beefy. Uh, I like it. So you can see this is about three inches and it's not one of those that you sit on and it's gonna compress all the way down. No, this thing has a lot of meat on it. Uh, you can follow us at Inca 4x4 on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, you can follow 
Kayla and Kevin at their Instagram, uh, Rootless, which is right here. And you can follow me at Overline1983 with the zero. Uh, this has been an awesome build. Uh, Kayla and Kevin are here today and they're about to roll out on their beautiful setup. And please check us out Inca 4x4 for more and thank you. Oh, the last thing, the uh, last thing I'm pointing out, I want to show this app right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but the lights are all on Bluetooth. And then the cool thing about this with the EcoFlow is uh, we still have another five spots to fill. The EcoFlow, this system tells you exactly how much you're using. You could turn on, you hear the AC come on for 110 volts. We could turn off all the 12 volt stuff. You got USB. Um, and then when you get solar, it all tells you right here. So this is such a cool system. That's a Delta EcoFlow Max 2. Um, Rick got it with the 400 watt solar panel blankets. So that's what this little yellow connectors are here for. So you can plug in and have solar charging his, uh, his battery. So, now we can go back to the video. Thank you for watching.